So what I want you guys to do is either a couple things. If you're not feeling comfortable with this, if you need to see this one more time, I'm going to do one more practice here. But if not, if you think you're ready to go and you want to try these four practice questions on some loose leaf sheet of paper, go ahead and do so. And when you're ready, you can unpause the video and watch the solutions. All the solutions will be posted at the very end of the video. So if you don't want to hear me ramble um, through the internet waves, then you can just fast forward the video to the end where the answers are displayed. But if you're struggling or don't get the answers, I would definitely recommend watching the following solutions. So, spoiler alert, if you haven't done these, definitely pause the video because here are the answers to our class practice session. Here we go. A sweater is priced $42.99, but on sale for 30% off. What is the sale price of the sweater? So this right here, this is a markdown. The price is going down. So what we're going to do this new way is we're going to take 100%, subtract off what we're not going to have to pay for, 30%, and we get 70%. Then we're going to take that amount, 0 0.7, multiply it by 42.99, and we'll get our answer. Simple enough. So you go to your calculator, you see that that equals 30.093, rounded to the nearest cent is this number. So you look at that number, 5 and above, give it a shove, 4 and below, let it go. We're going to let this one go. So the cash will be $30.09. All right, same idea, next one, doing it the new way. Uh, subtotal at the bookstore came to eleven seventy six. dollars Subtotal means before the full total. And there's 7% sales tax added on. So this is going to be a markup. So we're going to add that price. I'm going to add that tax to 100%, so 100% plus 7% equals 107%. As a decimal, that equals 1.07, so we're going to do 1.07 times 11.76 and get our answer of 12.5832, which rounded to the nearest cent, this is 1258. Number three, the price of turkey is, norm is normally the price of turkey is normally twenty-two dollars, but marked up fifteen percent in November. Markup literally means markup. And they, you know, a store would do that because in November, think about it, people want turkey. So if if stores raise their prices by fifteen percent, people are probably still going to buy it, and the stores can get more cash. So let's find the price of this turkey without tax here, just just after the markup. So we have a hundred percent. Add on the 15%, that's going to equal 115%. Change that to a decimal is 1.15. We do 1.15 times our 22, and that will equal 25.3. That's our final answer there. And then for number four, the dinner bill came to 43.76. The tax is 6.5%. That's going to increase it. Then I take 20% of that new amount and add that on. So it looks like we got two steps here. We're going to, we're going to tax our total. So let's do that first. What the tax is going to result in. So we have 100% plus the 6.5% we're doing for tax will be 106.5%. So we're going to do that as a decimal. 106.5 percent equals 106.5 excuse me 1.065 1.065 times 43.76 equals 1.065 46.6044, round at the very end, so keep that amount. We're still going to have to take that, the amount we just got, the 46.6044, and we have to tip our waiter. Waiter was actually pretty good. Um, so we're going to give the waiter some, some money. We're going to give the waiter 20% of that amount. So we're going to add on 20%. 
So that equals 120 percent as a decimal that will equal 1.2 so we do 1.2 times our 46.6044 to get that percentage of the whole and that will give us 55.93 when you round all right so those are our answers right there um, for those of you who just resumed the video Hopefully you got that. Um, you didn't have to write these questions down. Just just the work and the answers would have been fine. So check those out. Um, if you feel confident with that, you can start the assignment. If not, I'd probably rewatch the video, retry those questions. Um, but your assignment is just is short, but you got to do it. Um, and you're going to keep a nice organized journal so that when you hand in the assignment, which is a new file, it'll be all organized. Alright guys, again, if you have any questions, please let me know, and enjoy the rest of your day.